It's Tuesday, April 27, 2020, and this is a report on the completion of the tree cutting project for fire protection at the Fiddletown Ranch. We're approaching the house. Um, this small island of uh, land has been completely cleared of all trees. It has the utility pole, which has been recently replaced by PG&E. And we're walking a line that's approximately between 100 and 150 feet from each corner and any surface uh, of the house uh, per the uh, requirements of separation from not only the, the trunks but the overhanging branches. Looking back at that island of land, the only thing that remains is for the stumps to be ground down and then we can uh, cosmetically improve it. There's some stumps here, and we're walking almost due east right now into the morning sun. <clears throat> there were about eight large trees up here on the hill, and they were taken down and cleaned up over the last few weeks. This entire project has taken approximately three months for the cutting and the processing. So here's the, uh, here's the cut line in relation to the house. Turn the camera to the south and now to the west and you can see virtually complete separation of the house. There's the garden down in the distance. And so this last, these last couple of trees were about the 110 foot line from the corner of the house. So they were taken down. So I've got almost 125 to 150 feet of spacing from this last corner of the workshop on the east end of the house. So we're gonna walk down the hill, take a look at the house from the other perspective. There were no trees on this side of the hill it was just pasture land and you can see today lots of nice little white wildflowers on the side of the hill. Down here is what remains of the burn pile burning the crowns. And there's pretty much Total separation from the house over to the dam and to the pond. The closest trees were a, a group of large pines and a large oak. This is what remains of the oak. And you can actually see one of the... Uh... Oh, there go the geese. They like the pond. So. Here's the uh, largest pine, and then there's the two smaller ones. There's one of the remaining stakes from the original survey at the 100-foot line. So I'll come up here to the 100-foot line on the dam. And we took out one of the trees on the dam because it was marginally close. Now we're looking west, and now we're turning north. And there's a view of the of a complete separation from all the previous trees. On this little space I had a little fire pit and some benches. They're gonna get put back next trip up. And then you can see over in the pond some of the trees that fell into the pond when they were cut. As soon as things start to dry out and the water uh, subsides, then we're gonna pull these trunks out of the pond and we'll process those. I was able to save this really nice cedar. Um, the professional that I had helped me with the remaining trees. 
was really an expert in this this stump that you see on the ground and this one here the trees had a precarious lean towards this cedar and they could have taken it out but it was saved and it's quite nice to have so looking back north looking up at the side of the house you'll see three trees uh, small ones next to the house there used to be six trees uh, I consulted with uh, home run insurance and they said that uh, if I cut every other tree and had no closer than 10 foot spacing then uh, I could keep those trees which are very valuable for shade in the summertime um, the uh, the stalk on the far right is not a tree it's a flagpole so uh, not that uh, it's gonna butt out the other three are gonna butt out okay so now we're coming farther up and this is the kind of the last tree at about the 150 foot line And then there's the exit road. And as a final little demo, the uh, contractors for PG&E came out almost in synchronism with our cutting efforts. And if you take a look, and I'll put this on Zoom, they've done a great job of clearing all the way out around the power line. So we've got a lot of margin on the power lines out to the road and a lot of margin with the trees that got removed here. Daffodils are done for this year. They got a little confused with the dry February, so they bloomed early and died early. Maybe next year. And so coming up on the house, Again, just another view showing the spacing between the house and the trees. So that's the final report on tree cutting. Um, this should uh, allow me to have more than adequate uh, fire protection should the time ever occur. And the next phase is to uh, embark on the cosmetic phase. I'm gonna get a uh, stump grinder, grind down the stumps so they're not just sticking up out there.